Hey guys, welcome back to Economics and Comics. This is your top 10 new comics to buy on New Comic Book Day, July, <laughs> sorry, June 19th. Let's get right to the video. Okay guys, first of all, uh, thank you for your patience. Um, I know this is a day late, but I am getting it to you. I've read a bunch of books. I got some interesting stuff for you you might like. Uh, there's a couple stories I really like this week. Um, and yeah, it's just been pretty crazy over here. Um, yeah, I don't want to dig too far into it, but uh, I'm here for you guys. So the next video, there won't be a live video on Wednesday. Um, because the situation over here with the family uh, but you will get your pre-order video on Friday so I hope you enjoyed this video this is also the giveaway video so if you want to subscribe comment and like you will get entered into the giveaway this week's prize is Destro the 1 in 10 ratio we'll talk about this book in a second um, yeah so Let's let's go. Let's start start right at covers. Okay, here we go. Covers. Al Capone Vampire Number Zero, cover C by Gonzalez. I don't have this book yet. A lot of books haven't arrived yet. Amazing Spider Man 257 Facts Edition, the 25 copy. Batman Superman World's Finest 28, cover B by Nathan Zerdy. Blasphemous Number Three, cover B by Andolfo. Captain America Number Ten, the Scotty Young. There's a bunch of Scotty Young this week. Uh, Captain Marvel, number 9, Scotty Young. Cap Woman, number 66, cover B by Lynn. And the Via Lobos cover. And the 1 in 50. Doctor Strange, 16, Scotty Young. Elvira, Lovecraft, number 5, cover D. Gun Honey Collision Course, number 2, cover A by Lynn, is Butter. Immortal Thor, number 12, Scotty Young. Invincible Iron Man number 19, the Iron Patriot, uh, Scotty, uh, the Iron Patriot cover, and then the Scotty Young cover. Penthouse Comics number 3, cover C. I don't have those yet. There's a bunch that I don't have yet. Sensational She Hulk number 9, the Adam Hughes. That cover is pretty buttery in person. Spawn 354, cover A by Lee. Spawn Rat City number 1, third print. Let me do, let me do say something. It says Spawn Rat City number three is coming out. I don't have it. I never got it. It gets here on Friday, so that's it'll be released next week. Um, let's see. Spectograph number two, the twenty-five copy, and the fifty copy, both pretty cool. Street Fighters Master Game Gals number one, the five copy. Turtles Black, White, and Green number two, cover B. The Last Ronin Real Evolution number two, the 25 copy. Ultimate Spider Man number three, third print. Wonder Woman 10 cover B by Tedesco. Butter. And cover C by Pinocchio. Real quick, there are two number ones I want to tell you about that I didn't read. Self Help number one, new book. And The Writer number one. Okay. That was quick, and this video will be quick. I read about 12 to 13 books. The, funny this week, there are so many second and third prints. That's what came out this week. Second printing, stuff like that. So not a lot of reads. Uh, but the reads that I did read are right here. And there's some keys and some goodies. So let's get started at number 10. Spawn Misery, number one. The only thing I can say about this book was the art was good. Like real good. I didn't quite really like the story that much, to be honest with you. Sorry, Todd. Number nine, Spider Woman number eight. Who are the assembly? There's a two pager in there that briefly breaks down a little bit of their origins. And you see them. There's probably like another character in there called the Screamer, who's a bad guy. I don't know if that's a first appearance or not, but it's a brief origin of the assembly. Number eight is Uncle Scrooge Infinity Dime number one, the 10 copy by Del Otto. I love that cover. And the 50 copy by Campbell. Um, it's what you expect. A bunch of different Scrooge stories. I did see a part in there where you see the Scrooge above all. 
first appearance. I don't know. I, I don't know, guys. I don't know about this book, but I like the covers. Number eight is Batman 149 cover B by Del Otto. Funny enough, uh, the, this first, the first time ever, Lunar had a bunch of damages. I've never seen that many damages before. So there was a lot of books damaged. I'm getting replacements. Uh, but this story was pretty good. Uh, it it was about the Jor cloned a Robin for himself, but it was actually Batman. And and you, you can't stop the aging of the clone. So it's the story of Batman trying to stop the aging of the clone, Robin, which actually is Batman. And I don't want to, that's about all, okay? Number six is Amazing Spider-Man number 52. Of course, the homage cover with the goblin on it. The 25 copy, the Via Lobos cover, which is pure butter. Now, there is like a 1 in 100, 1 in 200 of that. Uh, the Scotty Young cover and the shoe cover. All good. Uh, pretty interesting story. I don't want to spoil too much, but it, I love the covers. Number five is Destro, number one. Regular cover. Here's the 25 copy. Here's the 50 copy. Good read. Good read. Good start. That's why I got my number five. Number four is Venom Separation Anxiety, number two. Here's the regular cover, and here's the 25 copy. This was a really good read, too. It could have been lower on the list, but it was a really good read. Um, you learn... The Purple Man is now venomized. Anything he touches with this symbiote set, he controls everybody. There's even a funny part where he's controlling uh, Ben Grimm, and he's been, he's telling Ben Grimm to let them into the, him the fa Fantastic Four building to like a cop. And um, there's a Star Wars reference in there. It's pretty funny, like mind control, but it, it was pretty good. So you do you get to see some more of the Purple Man's powers. Okay. Number three, Ultimate Spider-Man number six, the regular cover. Here's the Manahini. Okay, so Green Goblin verse, and Spider-Man versus Kingpin. Kingpin whoops their ass. Okay? You, you see some new powers and stuff like that. It's the end of the first arc. The story goes pretty quick. The art's good. Um, it's a quick read. But Kingpin and some stuff in there. Uh, of course, it's a great read. Okay. I'm giving number two to a cover because I know it's going to be super hot and expensive. Spider-Woman number seven, second print, 25 copy Peach Momoko virgin cover. I, that The regular number seven regular cover of the Momo was sick. This is the one in 25 of the second printing. I don't think a lot of people got it. It's the first appearance of Assembly. And... It's a dope cover. I'm sure it's going to be like 150 to 200 bucks. So I put it in number two just for that reason alone. And number one is Venomverse Reborn number one. Let me tell you why. Cover A, here's the Derek Chu, and here's the Salvador La Roca cover. So there's two stories in it. And, um, you know, if you're reading Venom, there's like the hand of Venom, which is like the final phase of Eddie. And so someone he someone goes to the the hand and it's like a, it's a, he, he's like I'll answer questions for you like a genie would. You can get you can answer a certain amount of questions, right? And so the first story has Null in it and a surprise Venom which you don't expect. Okay, pretty good, pretty good story. The second story is badass, and it reads like the old movie The Thing, where the thing is like hosting different people, jumping from people to people, um, with Kurt Russell in it, or is it Russell? I don't know, but it read really good. It was really good, and it, it, it's almost like Tales from the Crypt, almost the whole thing, different stories. Um, and like, what if Venom was this, or what if this happened? And it was really good. So you got a new first appearance in there of like somebody as Venom. 
And then you have this really cool second story, which I really liked a lot. That's why I put it at number one. Okay. I know this is quick. I'm super busy. Thank you guys for all your patience with me and what's going on in my life. We're probably going to have a couple more weeks of this hell. But I will keep um, making sure that you get your two most important videos. If you want to buy books from me, you can at economicsandcommerce.com. I'm going to do the giveaway real quick. Also, if you want to support me, you can at patreon.com forward slash economics and comics, all one word, since I am currently not monetized on YouTube anymore until August, probably. Uh, funny enough, Facebook is uh, it's kind of funny. All of a sudden, Facebook is like, uh, you want to be monetized? I was like, what? <laughs> so I'm looking into that. doesn't really matter, but um, if, you, if you want to go over to Facebook and just like and watch videos and stuff like that, just I'm doing my shorts over there. You can, it'll help. Um, you don't have to give anything or anything like that. Okay, the giveaway is right here. All you had to do was subscribe, comment, and like, and you got entered in to win. The winner this week is Blue Frog 392. Blue Frog, you won the Destro 1 in 10. Please message me at my store or on Instagram or something with your full name and address, and I'll send it to you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I seemed a little bit more positive today. I don't know why I feel a little bit positive right now. It's probably because I just read a bunch of books, and I haven't in a while, and I just kind of lost myself in the books for a little bit. So back to hell. All right? I love you guys. Stay safe.